Okay, we just turned east on Lakeway Drive. Another uh, commercial hub here, kind of the Fred Meyer. There's a little outlet, not an outlet mall, but a little strip mall over here. Um, coffee shops. We're close to, uh, we'll be passing actually the um, Bellingham Sportsplex. So it's a series of kind of you know, small town, but venues for ice hockey. There's a semi-pro baseball team here in Bellingham that's here, at, they call it Civic Field. Um, you know, soccer fields, uh, the Harney, Arnie Hanna Aquatic Center. So all of that is right here on our left. day but um, you know we're at 55 degrees the Seattle forecast is to hit 60 today so if we break through this fog it will be uh, potentially record high temperatures for the day um, and typically middle of winter like this January you know we'll get plenty of rain we'll get our peak month of rain right now but it's not unusual to hit 50 degrees some point during the month. You know, systems come in off the coast, blow through, and will be 50 degrees, beautiful. Uh, funny thing about the Northwest is, you know, it's, it's never usually a uh, hard driving rain. So even in the rain, even in the winter, people will be out biking and hiking and golfing and out on their sailboats. And the weather doesn't get many people down because the average temperature in the winter is around 40, 42 degrees. So it's, um, you know, it's still bearable. I've had several clients from Minnesota, uh, this last, Wisconsin, this last couple of months where, uh, you know, you board the town up, I think, uh, this time of year. But not quite uh, Caribbean-like, but still uh, you know, palatable. So this is just a winding road that is going to take us to Sudden Valley. And the interesting thing about Sudden Valley is, you know, there are thousands of homes in the subdivision of Sudden Valley. And these people, uh, in fact, I'm going to time it from where we're at right now. We are at Whatcom Falls Park. So if you were to Google a map, look for Whatcom Falls Park off Lakeway Drive. And I'll uh, just kind of time the drive. I'm at uh, 10.56 right now. And this, like I said, is just pretty much a, uh, a windy road. It's going to take us up to the lake here in a few minutes. But I'll just kind of let things go on uh, autopilot. And you can at least see the drive.
entering the little uh, eh, neighborhood called Geneva. Fire department anchored here. Geneva School is just a block or two to my left right here. Um, Top-notch schools, all part of uh, Sun Valley. And you can probably see the lake as I approach the bottom of this hill, and then we'll be running alongside the lakefront, still kind of winding our way about uh, halfway down Lake Watcombe. Valley four miles. So the trip is a little quicker, uh, especially when you do 35 instead of 25, which is the posted speed. And other than that little strip there by the fire department, uh, 35 is pretty much the standard. Uh, Sheriff's Department usually parks along that strip by the fire station because of the speeding through the neighborhood. Just a little warning I'll throw out there. I've got kind of a wide angle lens for my camera here, so you're seeing um, a little wider view just because I wanted you to kind of get a feel for something more than just say the center of the road but um, I'm not sure what it looks like on the camera but in the distance there's some fog clouds yeah the sky's clearing here um, but fog on the hillsides not snow which for this time of year certainly would be dusting of snow up there throughout the winter would be normal. Because most of uh, Sudden Valley uh, residents work in Bellingham, you know, this little two-lane road can be can be busy. You know, 7.30 in the morning, people heading into work, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, homeward. Um, you know, it's, it's rare that it's a, uh, you know, it's not a traffic jam situation, but in the winter time, if there's ice on the road or winter time, my wife actually works for an accountant uh, who works right here in this next uh, home on the lake. Uh, and there's been a couple of times in the winter time where a tree has fallen down and everybody gets stopped. So uh, just a little thing, you know, little delay nothing that you know, shuts the road down for days or hours even but uh, just so you're aware because as we're kind of heading closer to Sutton Valley we are climbing a little bit in elevation so you probably get out here and you're somewhere around 500 to I'm gonna guess we're probably somewhere between 500 to 1,000 feet elevation so um, light dusting in the winter time on these hills versus closer to town, closer to the water, where the water temperature usually keeps um, keeps the snow somewhat at bay.
don't, you probably can't tell uh, in this video, but there are homes and lots up to our right that are part of the Sudden Valley community. Somewhat of steep uh, slopes. This uh, We're kind of on the base of the mountain here. This is called Galbraith Mountain. And you probably won't be able to see it well, but I'm just approaching the on the left side of the road, the golf course. You can see a little green patch here. So that's the fairway. It looks like a busy Sunday. Golfers are out. Um, and we are uh, we're in Sudden Valley. So here's the first gate approaching Sudden Valley, gate three to our right. Fire Station 22 serves the Sudden Valley on our left. Here's Gate 1 into Sudden Valley. More of the golf course here on our left. Homes around the golf course to our left, a little more um, sun exposure in that area and then up to the right it's uh, somewhat of a jungle just a very dense forest and said so most of the developments up to our right um, here is the little commercial area for the valley village gas uh, deli etc and we're gonna head into this gate to the Grandview house gate 2 <laughs> 